Dear learners, now we will discuss fabrication, falsification and plagiarism as research fraud. Research must be conducted in an ethical manner in order to maintain the dignity, then rights, safety, privacy of the researcher ecosystem. But nowadays, some researchers doing some misconduct in their research. So, this misconduct can be particularly and specifically termed the integrity of research depends on honesty and trust. According to the US National Institute of Health, research integrity includes that use of honesty and verifiable methods in proposing, performing and evaluating research. These things to be maintained properly. Reporting work to be done very carefully. The research result with particular attention to be made based on some rules, standards and based on some ethics and following some professional codes and norms. Otherwise, the research work will be treated as the research misconduct. So, scientific misconduct or research misconduct is day by day increasing in India, in third world countries also due to different factors that we won't discuss all these things. But however, we see that there are particular two or three functions that we will discuss which will be treated as the research misconduct and come under the purview of publication misconduct also. Here fabrication, the term, it is a process of putting research data recording, analyzing, reporting, conducting them through simply synthetically and unethically. Fabricated means mixing, synthesizing the idea, not in a systematic manner, taking from others research work. So, that is the fabrication. That is that is completely to be unaware, it is, it is to be avoided. Otherwise, the activity of the research cannot be represented as a good work, good endeavor, beneficial endeavor. What is to be achieved through the intellect, through careful interpretation, careful analysis, through care critical analysis and the research data to be properly collected, it will be properly recorded, properly interpreted and reported accordingly by the application of his own intellect only. But the process, methods, eh, mathematical formulas, that can be taken from anywhere. That is not the problem. But the data representation and the recording and the interpretation should be done accordingly based on the corrected data or collected data and the through criticism. So, this fabrication is the uh, most important unethical issue. Then another one is falsification. It is a research process, it is a misconduct process of changing of research contents, data, illustrations, equipment, processes by means of manipulation with a view to share the research data with the desired result of the research study. 
some researcher fix he is already fixed a priori result in his mind and to reach at that point he is manipulating everything data manipulating equipment then the reagents techniques process everything is manipulating and so that he can reach to his, his target ideas target pointed or a priori result so this is the falsification then third one is the plagiarism it is a process of putting one's work ideas process results etc without giving proper acknowledgement it is mentioned by ORI 2007 the term plagiarism has come into the form plagiarism senses that is the kidnapper seducer plunderer etc here from the term is coming roman poet martial has been used the term first time in context of his poet around 80 ad at that time poets were expected to be able to recite key works of the of other authors however when martial learned that another poet pedentinus was reciting his works and taking credit of them martial chose to respond so martial did not have the opinion to going to the court now modern copyright law won't exist to another 1600 years there was no legal remedy available wrote a series of verses about pedentius essentially creating to distract about him for the romans to the 17th century skill was prized over originality many greater scientists artists and authors copied these include shakespeare who copied many of his most famous plots and passages leonardo da vinci copied some of his most famous works so we can say that the research is the driving force of innovations and technical advancement in the world these innovations and advancements have created various dynamic substantial and comprehensive social changes yet some misconduct have been included by the research scholars in their research activity and as a result the total research process has been termed has been come under the purview of plagiarism or come under the purview of uh, research misconduct has the us federal policy defined research misconduct as fabrication falsification or plagiarism in proposing performing and or reviewing research or in reporting research result so research fraud is an unethical process where publishing data or conclusions that were not generated by experiments or observation but only taken through data through manipulation from other ones so the following thoughts the are found in science and scientific publishing that we have mentioned in three terms that is the fabrication falsification and plagiarism so whenever making up the research data and result and recording and reporting them so it will be termed under fabrication and the when the process to, to be followed of manipulating research contained ideas data equipments and processes then it will come under falsification so it may also include changing or omitting data or results in such a way that research is not accurately represented such falsification made by a person other individual or taken help from an outside expert persons through outsourcing to make the data fit with the desired result 
that means when the researcher has already fitting his data fitting his ideas so as to establish his research concept so as to establish his research output that it is a great unethical issue and it can be taken granted as a falsification process and plagiarism that is variously and extensively used throughout the world in this research reporting uh, activities process and some measures and some points have to be pointed so that we can avoid the plagiarism and we can uh, ethically and systematically and honestly we can proceed our research activities for the betterment of the research work and research output that will help the society and that will reach to further modernization so research for by may but following all these things can can be at most it, we have to avoid it all these things so that we can fairly undertake research work and we can present our we can collect our data we can interpret properly the uh, the analyzed data so that the exact accurate answer accurate research output can be obtained and that accurate and beautiful and the beauty data or beauty interpretation will come and we, we, we will add our society we will add our knowledge base and that will create a great achievement in our society otherwise we will fall in troubles properly designated or people we will disregard by the society so it is our duty so as to have heard this research fraud activities and we have to follow the research act, conduct act, actual conduct activities or ethical issues so that our research work research and behavior can be properly esteemed by the society so in case of research fraud plagiarism is important one in, that is the most dangerous concept there are various types of plagiarism are there so plagiarism means the practice of taking someone else work or ideas and passing them off as one's own that is given by oxford dictionary of english and it is representing someone else work or ideas as one's own with or without the consent from the the earlier author by incorporating it into one's work without full acknowledgement sometimes all published and unpublished material whether in manuscript printed or electronic form is covered under this definition it may be intentional or reckless or unintentional also now it is called as checking of similarity there is various plagiarism types that is according to various resources of plagiarism it has been found that there are following types of considered as similarity number 1 one one's literature as one's own replication of words ideas quotes from someone's without acknowledgement third one deteriorating to use someone's quotation without quotation marks using false information as the source of a quotation juggling words of copying of the sentence from the source without acknowledgement using long sentences or ideas from other sources with or without acknowledgement another one using other image from web resources as own writings without acknowledgement another one using copyrighted audio video as your own without acknowledgement then we discuss forms of plagiarism this is direct verbatim plagiarism that is directly stating a paragraph or text 
without giving proper acknowledgement. Then self plagiarism, restating previous works and ideas of your work as in new scientific writing. Then mosaic plagiarism, it is the mixing text and ideas from various sources without paying proper acknowledgement. Then another is accidental plagiarism, then paraphrasing plagiarism, restating one's ideas without giving proper acknowledgement, then collusion, then false citation. So, failure to acknowledge assistance, then global plagiarism. So, these are the research fault termed under the term plagiarism. So, we have to take care of this. The researcher must have to know all these ideas so as to avoid these things in their times of research progress.